Hey, 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 hey. No, no. Oh. We finished him now. Uh, he finished Bikurov. If somebody set aside Bikurim, Umachar Sadeu, and then he sold the field. So he no longer owns the field. Mm-hmm. Maybe he brings the Bikurim, he set aside, but he can't read the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the formula because he doesn't own the land anymore. It says the land which I own. Oh. By Shani, the second individual who bought the land, may also mean ain't a mo- maybe from that f- group from that fruit he doesn't bring bikurim. Why? Because bikurim already brought on that fruit. We mean acha from any other fruit, maybe uh, he's a kore. He can bring the bikurim and he can read the parsha. Right? The merapa may also mean maybe a kore. Even from that type, he can bring bikurim and read. He can read the parsha as well. He wishes to bikurov. If a person set aside bikurim. Nomku, and then they became uh, uh, ruined. Uh, they they uh, rotted. Nivzesu, they were they became um, uh, stolen. Nigdavu, stolen by by uh, armed armed uh, by uh, robbery or burglary. Ovdu, they got lost. Oshenitmu, they became tame. Maybe I can't tell you bring others in their stead. For ain't no kori, but you cannot read the parsha. Why? Because they're not racist. Says Rashi's priya 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 dama, and these are not the first fruits. The first fruits are God. Hashniim, the second fruits also. If a non kohen ate them, enechai echay of the mechomish has to pay have to pay an f- additional fifth when he makes restitution to the kohanim. What happens if nidmehu ba'azara? You bring the fruit to the base of mikdash into the precincts of the base of mikdash. That's the azara, and they got tame there. So no fate, you you pour them out of the basket in which you brought them, Veno Kore, and you cannot read the parsha because um, the, it says there they didn't get Tommy, these did get Tommy. Uh, How many know that he has to replace Bikurim if they get damaged or lost up till he brings them to the Temple Mount? Once he brings them to the Temple Mount, he no longer has to replace them. Shemit says, Rishis Bikurayat Moscha, the first fruits of your land. Tavi base Hashem Lokech, you should bring to the house of God your Lord, Vigomer, etc. Mulami, this teaches us who Chay Barchiusan, he's liable for them, Achiyav in Labarabais, until he brings Makshi up to the Temple Mount, at which point his liability ceases. Arei Shevi min Acher, Vikora, let's say you, Echod, Vikora, you brought for that year already from one type, let's say uh, grapes. You already brought Bikurim and read the parsha. Because of Avi Minachah, then you could brought from another type, let's say uh, barley. Ain't no curry. You don't read the second time. In other words, you only get to read the parsha one time a year. That's all. No more than that. Okay. We just start. We just start the Gemara. We just start the Mishnah. Ma time the rabbi. What's the logic of the rabbis who said that you only get to you only uh, uh, you only get to um, the only, the only the first the initial owner brings uh, biku, uh, uh, bi, brings bikurim, not the second owner when the field exchanged hands. Matam Rabbani got I said over today. Pam uh, One one time you get the right to say it over, and veinuchov magid pam You do not read a, a second time. So that, that means we're assuming not just on the person, but also on the fruits. You can only uh, the only the fruit can only have if you have a vineyard and then you sell the vineyard. But before you sold, you brought bikurim. The second guy can't bring bikurim. So that's more of Leiser or Vito Kane. Those are this way is perfectly logical uh, uh, approach. Isley Bodamechli says that's by one person. One person cannot cannot read the parsha a second time. I will shnei adam, but if I own the vineyard and I brought bikurim from it and I sold the same vineyard to you, you can bring magid v'choyzer magid. You can bring the bikurim and you can also read the formula on them as well. Now going back to the Mishnah minute, the Mishnah said that if you're you set aside bikurim, they got lost or destroyed or damaged. And you replace them with other fruit. Okay, and the, that other fruit, um, you do not pay a fifth for if a, a, a non Kohen inadvertently ate them. He doesn't pay an additional fifth when he makes restitution to the Kohanim. Some Rabbi Yochum Yehud say, Mishum Yechidi Ani Shoni also. I learned that this, uh, this part of the mission, this second mission is a uh, specific individual opinion. Not everybody holds this way. 
the tani came with that way as a bride as well. Rishimen you don't remember Shor Rishimen Rabbi Shimon you don't remember the name Rabbi Shimon Shneim Enchei Avleim Chomish. The second time around, in other words, you set aside stuff as restitution. You're not chayiv a fifth if it gets consumed or damaged, etc. Rabbi Shmuel, uh, if you, if I'm sorry, if you consume it, you're not chayiv a fifth. Rabbi Shmuel, Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Shmuel, Rabbi Yitzchak said, "Shneim Lochin Shneim." When you're making restitution, you're giving because not as original. But as a replacement, then you could take it even from the marketplace. It doesn't have to be from your own field. It could be from anywhere. So what is their status? is like an additional bikurim. In other words, you bring more than necessary bikurim. Okay, the bikurim, or is it like an adornment for the bikurim? If you look at it like additional bikurim, but turn me the mites exam for take off the mite. If you look at it as being the adornment of the Bikurim, why is it Chayav and Demai? Of course, it's not part of the Bikurim. Eat the Bikurim is stuff which you would adorn your Bikurim with, but it's not an integral component of the Bikurim. So, certainly in that case, it's like regular fruit. You have to take off the Mai from it if it has a question as to its origin and the Mai says thereof. Okay. Nidu Bazar. I'm, am I going too fast, Mr. Zuber? It's okay? No, I lost you. Oh, eh. Uh, we're near, we're, we're two dots about six lines above the mission or so. Nidu Bazara? Above Halacha Ches. Oh, which is the next page. Oh, it's the next page. Good point. Forgot about that. Okay. Nidmu, uh, uh, Nidmu, uh, Bazara. If they became Tome in the base of Mikdash proper, no faith, you spill out the basket of Inakori, you don't read the parish of Bikurim. Rabbi Chava, Varoga, Vashem, Rabbi Yisrael, Chinna said, Nidmu, Abikurim, Bikurim, Ikram Tome, Hasalim, the Torah, the Kwanim, then the baskets are given to the Kwan. They get to keep the baskets. The Chsiv, it says, Vilakacha, Kohena, Tenem, Yodeko, the Kohen takes the basket from your hand. So it's not just fruits, it's baskets, and he gets the baskets. Lemini Tzicho, according to who do we need the end of the Mishnah? The end of the Mishnah says that, uh, if you brought one time that year, then you, the, and you read already, uh, the, uh, Parsha then you don't get to read the Parsha again another time that year. Lemini Tzicho, who do we need to say this for? Rabbi Huda. You can bring Bikurim and read the Parsha multiple times. That's only if two different people bring the Bikurim from the same field. Then they get multiple times. But if you brought Bikurim and then you brought again, then you bring for another type. Of the seven species, you cannot read the parsha b'kurim a second time. I'm Rabbi Yehudah Satavi. Rabbi Shimon was shim by Yochai. Okay, Rabbi Shimon Yochai learned like this. It says you should say it and you should rejoice. So from this we learned that the reason the, the reason why when be the um, uh, when the Bikurim become tummy, you can't read the parshas because heavy arm of the Simcha only say when there's joy and there's only joy when you can eat it. If the Bikurim become tummy, if they come tummy, the base of Mikdash there's no joy and therefore you cannot read the parsha Bikurim because you cannot in- enjoy them so you can't read the parsha which expresses the joy of Bikurim. Okay? Stop above them now. El Mevin Bikurim. These are the ones, these are the people who bring Bikurim and may read the Parsha of Bikurim. Mina Teres Vadacha Wawak from Shvuas until Sukkis. Mishiva Saminim, and also it has to be from the seven species. It can even be Mina Peusha Bohorim from the fruit in the mountaintops. Mina Tumorim, and from the Deit Shabbat Mokim, which are in the valleys. Umeze Say Hashemen, and from the al- the, the, the olive, um, the oil olives and from Transjordan. We do not bring Bikurim from Transjordan. Why? It's not a land flowing with milk and honey. Okay? They don't, when, when you land in Amman, they don't play Eretz uh, Avat Chalav on the plane. So, has Kedusha's Eretz Yisrael. 
Yeah, it's not the last cloud of Rashi. Right. Okay. Rabbi Yosef Shem. One would think that Kedusha's Eretz Yisrael is tied in with. This thing is tied in the Eretz last cloud of Rashi. It's tied in with Kedusha's Eretz. No, look at the look at the Gemara. Rabbi Yosef Shem Shem and Lachish said a lot of good 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 Kedusha night. Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Zia and Rabbi Yehuda said Shishu Sarmil Shishu Sarmil sixteen square meal not sixteen square meal sixteen by sixteen. What would that be? Um. 144? Uh-oh. Oh, it's 12 by 12. Oh, it's 12 by 12. Good point. Okay. 256. 256? So, it's, it's uh, 256 square meal. So, that's about 256 square kilometers. Chezor, chezor, tzipurin, around tzipurin, hein, hein, eretz, avaz, That's the land, that's the land flowing of the milk and honey. The Galil. All these people are settling in uh, Yudav Shamron. It's not Eretz Zavat Chalav Utvash. Am Rabbi Yehuda Biyana said that wasn't not meant as a political statement. Am Rabbi Yehuda, man the bekader Elon Shigunaya, somebody who cuts through the hills. In other words, if you measure the sixteen mil as the crow flies, then not by going up and down mountains, then the Beit Shan mean home. Beit Shan becomes part and parcel of the Eretz Zavat Chalav Utvash. Manam Kader Hada, if you could uh, uh, to measure as crow flies in the other direction, Bikas Kinosar Minhon, the, the Gidosar Valley, which is near the Kinneret, comes far and parcel of these 16 mils as well. Mesivan Rabir, now the Asher Rabir, the Vaksiv, doesn't say, Vomar, Hashem says, I said, Aleschem, I will take you out. Meoni Mitzrayim from the poverty of Egypt. El Eretz Toivol Rechovel. El Eretz Zavas Chol Avudvash. So the entire land of Israel is a broad and plentiful, good land, and and, and it is full, uh, flowing with milk and honey. So it sounds like the whole whole Eretz Yisrael. On my loins, he said no. Eretz Zavas Chol Avudvash means Eretz Asher Ba Zavas Chol Avudvash. Within it, it's Chazav Aschol Avodvash. So therefore, Itaka, we can have a sheet that even which holds it. Where's the limitation of Zavat Aschol Avodvash? Nikolio. Okay? Naim of Eretz Yisrael. Okay? Yeah. It was never rebuilt, but it's near Terrier. Okay? Tani! that which you gave to me, not the land which I took on my own. So Hashem precludes the land which Amisu took on their own, own from bringing Bikurim. What's the difference? What, how you explain the Pasuk? I'm Rabbi Yovin. Rabbi Yovin said, Chati Sheva Menashe. The difference is Chati Sheva Menashe. Now Reuven and God came and asked for the portion of Transjordan. Menashe not got to ask, but they got it there anyway. I guess because they had a lot of sheep, so they got it there anyway. So, so my the Marshana Satal evil on the He says any land which was given as opposed to taken on its own, so that includes Chati Shevim Nashulon Ozlumiatzman. Right? They didn't take on their own. Right? They were granted it by Moshe Rabbeinu. Mother Eretz of Aschavudva, and therefore they could be in Kurim. Mother Eretz of Aschavudva, and he says that the criterion is the land flowing with milk and honey. So if you look in, nonetheless, say in Eretz of Aschavudva, the land of, er- uh, of Menashe is not the land of Eretz of Aschavudva, because it's the area where? Part of the area of? Avery Yardin. Which part of Menashe have, by the way? Which part of Menashe have? I mean, the two. Yeah, which the one on the other side of the Jordan River, which do they have? We're on the other side of the Jordan? No, on this side of the on Jordan. The on the west side, west bank, on the east bank. In the, in the Golan. Yeah, the Golan. Yes. Ruby and Kali, we have beloved. Yes, what do you want to ask? I, I, I was under the impression that it was Ruby and God and Chassi Sheba and Nasha asked. No, 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 look at the Chumash again. It's talking not there. It's only Ruben and God who come, come to ask. No, they decided to put him there to keep the others. <laughs> it's only God and Ruben. Take a look at Baruch Matos again. It's only Ben Egar and Ruben. Okay. Akonosh Loshi Lono, it's a total of a story by three trees in his friend's yard. So maybe Corey brings the equipment to read the episode, the, the Parsha, because he say he brought land. 
You, you, uh, if you buy three trees, the default assumption is that you get land with them. But, uh, right, Mayor Mayor, a few times Mayor says even with two trees. Kona Elon Kako, if you bought the land and explicitly include the land in the sale, then maybe Kori, you, you can, uh, bring before him and read the parsha. Even people who are sharecroppers by percentage or by flat fees can bring Bikurim and read the parsha. So what kind of what kind of sharecroppers are we talking about? Says Martani Chakuri Bate Ovos in a Mavin. We learned that uh, that uh, the the um, the the Chokrim those are paid by flat fees. But it's a it's a it's a hereditary right. Each generation inherits the right to be a choker on this land from the previous generation. Okay, so I'm a, so chakuri chakuri literally means from their parents' house. Ain't on the vein, they cannot be bikurim. They don't really own it, even though they have permanent contracts. They the contract passed down as inheritance. They don't really own it. Rabbi says that Misha does say you can bring the Bikurim and read the Parsha. Rabbi Zir, Rabbi Chivash, and Rabbi Yechanan said, Vechakure bate ovoisi mas niso. Our Misha is talking about hereditary positions. Only in hereditary position do I say that that the uh, it's a coming on the sharecropper to set aside Bikurim. Rabbi Yechanan and Rabbi Yasim, Rabbi Yechanan said, Pepali arisus vechakirusi mamis misna mas niso. Our mission is talking about even regular, not hereditary sharecroppers. This is where we can hold a can you person can you a group topic? Uh he could. It's an interesting point, but the more doesn't actually pick up on that. That's an interesting point, but the more does not pick up. Has, a sharecropper only has a monetary group. He doesn't own the land. Right. It's just Yet we're saying that, that he has to bring the corn, which implies a form of ownership. So that is. Rabbi, the Rabbi, the is a minority is, opinion. Right. So he must hold that a right to the produce is like a right to the land. That's that's it. Can you have Kurskut? Can you not go down? Who well, owns the produce? This is no matter. It's as if he owns the land. That's what he's saying. Right, but I don't see that there would be then a qualitative difference between Arisus, uh, Arisus Poteovus and not Arisus Poteovus. If King of Paris, King of Goofy, you couldn't give the dichotomy. The more clearly doesn't hold this dichotomy, right? Okay? Except Rabbi Hila. Now, in Rabbi Hila, you might be able to say this. Rabbi Hila and Rabbi Asim Sherbi Hila and said, Pepale Arisus Vachakirus, he must need, so our mission is not to about. Hereditary positions, talking about even uh, you know temporary positions. Now, I haven't boiled the man, but they wanted to say, "Whoa, man, my body, I resist chakirusi masni." So he also talking about even non-hereditary positions, at least. Hub aritz v'chakir, that which it says, however, sharecropper, castle king, 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 king takes up bikurim. It's not talking about a, a, a temporary right? One which is there only said so, temporarily. I think I made a just a bad mistake. I made a very bad mistake. Let me let me rectify that immediately. This is talking about. Yeah, how about the chokir with soy and our mission about sharecroppers? Lo boris l'shoach bechokir l'shoach. Is it not talking about where it's a temporary oris or a temporary chokir? However, how about oris l'om of chokir l'oil and maybe it was a permanent oris? Even according to Tanakh. Even according to Tanakh, but that's right. So the point is the reason. It really is kini a perska kini not gufta. But the question is, what is no, 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 wait. Give me four or five more lines. I'm sorry, Barabon, Rabbi Chiyab Sherbi Allen said, I feel about this land of the Chokir Lolem, even by a permanent or it's a permanent Chokir. They know maybe he doesn't bring. Why? Lama? 
because and here is a big type which should be not a big type of smile but it's more the Chakiros Bote Ovos and Arisus Bote Ovos he must be saw our mission is specifically talking about even the Machlokas is by permanent by by hereditary. Not only not not even by permanent is that sufficient. If I have a lifetime contract to be the artist, I still don't bring Bikurim. It's only if it's a hereditary position. Now, uh, granted, you can argue a point in those who hold right. in the in the half right. of the Gemara, but not in the Maskana of the Gemara. Okay? Hajala Kheshmivin. Hachuma Va Bikurim. New parak. If you eat them and you're not supposed to, you, eat, you get death in the hands of heaven. If you are unintentional, you pay a fifth to the Kohanim. And they are forbidden for non Kohanim. They belong to the Kohen. And they are bought of, they, they, can, they blend in one in one hundred, like Truma. You have to wash your hands before you eat it. You have to go to the mikveh and wait till nightfall before you eat it. These both apply to Mikurim. Masha Enkim, but Meiser do not apply to Meiser. Okay? We're on both on base, Mr. Zuger. You have it? Okay, I truma vai bikurim mukhuli. Yeah, we'll start the word. We'll start the word. I truma vai bikurim mukhuli. See if it says, Vani ne nasati lukha. Behold, I have given to you. Uh, as a the safekeeping of my trumos. No, trumosai is plural. Stay trumos. There are two trumos. Uh, truma, truma itself, vabi kurin. Truma, how do we know the, pro, the, the lab of truma? Um, or the, the, the um, maybe it's the source of truma. One second. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's not clear what we're trying to learn. The more is going to try and figure this out in a few more lines. Truma de Siv la Yisol of Chetva Mesu, ki Yichalu. The Ksandi Truma has learned that you die for eating Truma illicitly because it says that you should not uh, bear an iniquity if you eat it and desecrate it. Ha Bikurim, ha Bikurim Yichayev, death if, in, in the hands of heaven if you if your co- uh, Yisrael eats them. See, it says, uh, shoma. It says they should bring there a little and then it goes on to say, Utrumas Yotcha, the gift of your hands. Now that's clearly talking about Bikurim. Elu Bikurim, Tichsiv Lokach Kwena Terim Yodecha, because there it says that the Kohen should take it from your hands. So, Utrumas Yodecha, the gift of your hands, is going on to that which goes to the uh, Kohen, right? So says the Gemara. Oh, no more kach because of daber. Says more. Maybe not. Maybe when it says that I gave you mishmeres to Mosai, if you don't keep them properly, you're going to get put to death in the hands of heaven. Maybe that's by kachim. Says the Gemara. Kvar ksev kares by kachim. Ray says by kachim that you get kares. So you don't need to tell me that you get misa as well. So says more. If you get misa with kares by kachim, why not? Boom, boom. Baruch dayanemis. Baruch dayanemis. We'll kill him twice, right? Water be me, so more be me, Says more what? It's not cap punishment, cap punishment in the hands of heaven. You want to basically ask your question. Says the river, he is me, so mace with closer mace. Can one kick the proverbial bucket and kick the self same bucket over again? So it says the more, Kato de Tane. Says more notes like that which we learned. Hamais lechamishim shana. Some of you dies by year fifty of his life. Mais be kares. He under under he underwent the penalty of kares. Lechamishim time A person dies at the age of fifty two. So zumi sashmul anavi. That's the death of Shmuel the prophet who died at the age of fifty two. The shishim person dies at the age of sixty. Misa amur betor. This is the prescribed death in the Torah. As we see by the people who died in the midbar, they died at the age of sixty. The shivim person dies at the age of seventy. Misa shochiba, it's a it's a life, uh, it's a death of um, affection because he lived a full life, I guess. The shemoyim, if a person dies at the age of eighty, 
So then it's Mitzvah Shel Zikna. It's the death of an elderly person, right? Mikan Ve'ach says more amazing anti-geriatric Gemara. Mikan Ve'ach, after the 80th birthday, it ain't worth living anymore. Mikan Ve'ach, Chaye Tsar, it's life of anguish. Isn't the Bible say that the is age 60 by age 50? Correct. A yes, a difference. Okay. Um, says Mara. Ma chamitz meimar mezel chamitzim shor be kores. What did you see to say that if you die before the fiftieth year, it's considered kores? Says Mara. I'll tell you. It says. See if it says. Out the chrisu shemish b'chos hakasi. It says do not eradicate the tribes of the the the, the family of kos from the Levites. This family of kos bore what in the base of mikdash. Yeah, you're safe and you're correct. <laughs> I spilled my coffee out of shock. Okay. Um, no, it wasn't so shocking. You got it right. Sorry. The, uh, the the family of course carried the arrow, right? So it says that the, before they would come in to, to take their loads. They would show they the Aaron and his kids would come in and cover the uh the Kaylin. So they wouldn't look and they wouldn't come to touch, right? So it says and the Khivloya Musu. This to them so they're living will shall not die. Asula am Tvaradovashoka is gonna make for them a, a rectification. So they shouldn't enjoy even the side of the Kodesh Kodashim itself. Uksivan it says Viloya Voli Rois Kibala Sakhidesh for Mesu. They shall not come and see when the Kodesh is swallowed, meaning when it's covered. Meaning before it's covered, lest they shall die. Look, see, it says, How long did the Levites work? Only until they were age 50. So it says, Do not be co race them. So by definition, co race must be before the age of what? For the age of 50. 50. Like the video. Can you just give me a second one up? Okay, Rabbi Avin Braid, Rabbi Tanakhum Bar Trifon, Shama Lami Nochi, learned out from here. It's a very difficult passage from which to learn out. I'll tell you the Mashbiach's Pshat in the middle. It says that, uh, from here, the days of our years are at 70. Uh, 70. Same man as Shemesh Shana, uh, take away out of the 70 years, the 20 years, Shane Basin Shomalon, well, Onshi Vakorsim. During which time Basin Shamala does not give punishments nor give kores. The Mtsay Somers to come to the conclusion that our Mesa Khamishim Shona may be kores. When you die at the age of fifty, that's called kores. This is a very difficult concept, right? And how you see in the apostle. Well he, he said, doesn't say somebody dies at four fifty there, it says he may shall say to Shivim, so you'd expect anybody dies before seventy. So the way so everybody has difficulty with this and Levi Shlime, whatever he says is unintelligible. But uh, what I think is the the pshar, good pshar is the mashbiach, so I don't know if it's pshar either. Mashbiach says it says the raya is really from the end of the pasuk. It says you may still say the bayim shavim shana bayim being vuro shmonim shanim. Okay, so take eighty, take twenty off of that because those are the first twenty years paced and shamal doesn't punish. Then you still have to give the guy kores. And Chorus means he loses half of his life. That's what he says. Well, if you take off 20, what's half of the remainder? 30. What's 20 and 30? 50. So if he dies before 50, that's Chorus. Okay? So the um, assumption is that we start with 80 as the factor. That's Chorus. Chorus means cut. So cut in half. So you cut half the remainder after the twenty, and then you have uh, fifty. Okay, that's the mashbiach pshat. Says the Gemara, the chamishim is time. Somebody dies age fifty-two. It's not kor. It's because Shmuel Navi died at that age. Mitzvah Shmuel Navi. Rabbi Yava, Rabbi Rabbi Bobby, and Rabbi Yeshua the Sichlim b'Shem Rabbi Levi said, "B'chol etzev yeh Mosar." Which we dash to mean in anything extraneous there is sadness. And uh advice for sign the words of lips Ahmas are only called shortcomings. How so Khana Idea Shrim so Bitfila Khana since she died so much in the base in the Mishkan for Shmuel, so uh Kitsu Yamash Shmuel she 
abbreviated Shmuel's lifetime. Shamra, she said, Yeshev Sham Adolam, that Shmuel should be in the Mishkan forever. So that was 50 years. Wait a minute, but he was 52. Levi only gets 52 years, right? You see, he ben chamishim shana yoshu mishum mitzva avoda. What did I say? Fifty-two years, fifty years. Levi gets fifty years, so how did it get to be fifty-two here, right? See, it says he ben chamishim shana. The end of fifty years, you, you, you go back home from the army, uh, from the army of being a Levite. So therefore, vei dalun chamishim v'tartei. How do you get from these fifty-two? Says Mar Rabbi Yisrael Vunder Stein Gushegam Olav to. She also we we don't count the two years in which she after which she weaned him, whereas the, the clock of fifty starts from the time he was brought to the Mishkan when he was already two years old. Does it say that? Yeah. I remember. Uh, Rashi, where? No, it says Biyom Higa Melchas also. We dash in the Hain Gimel is eight. So he was weaned at eight? No, he had his bris at eight. According to Drush, Higa Mel has nothing to do with Bikurim. Or, it, uh, I mean. Higamel it applies to dru- the the drush, but it's exclusively the drush. So tomorrow we're coming up to in Shabbos. Here, here, here. here. Okay. Um. I'm Rabbi Yosi Barbun. Shlain Shemulatu. Shishi Misa Mura Batayra. Do you see that? Mr. Zuger, you have it? I don't know exactly where it is. I'm Rabbi Yasser Boon. I understand. Oh, it's a bad week for me. It's not a good The older I get, the less I'm going to sleep. I don't know if that's an ongoing thing. It gets worse. It gets worse? Great. Um, I'm Rabbi Yesi Barapun. Ushayin Shumat, we just, sorry. Lushishi Misam Borov Torah. 60 is the death mentioned in the Torah. Rabbi Chizkei Abuerso, Rabbi Chizkei Abuerso, Rabbi Abba said, Shem Rabbi Acho, Rabbi Chizkei Shem Rabbi Acho said, Rabbi Acho said, Rabbi Acho said, it says, Im Yira Ish Banosh Meila Dora Razev, somebody in this evil generation will see, they won't see the, um, they will not see Eretz Yisrael, right? And when do they die? Hagat Mukha, imagine to yourself. Shiyatsa me mitzraim menasrim shona. A person left Egypt when he's twenty. And he spent forty years in the desert to Mason then he died. Six years of death which you mentioned in Torah. Well, Xivan is also a puzzle which says, Tavo bi kalach. Whatever kalach actually means, I don't know. But kalach in gamachia is 60. 
So we learned that at the age of sixty they uh, they died. Now this is a, this is also not good. Die at the age of sixty. Me somewhere the way it works is until age fifty if you die according to Shami it's Kuris. Up to age sixty if you die it's considered to be Misa B'day Shamayim less severe but still a penalty only once you get above the age of 60 is it not considered to be a premature death okay precisely age 60 is uh, your 60th year which is where according to English on birthdays you are what 59 59 is the 60th year okay um was she in China you 60 already Really? With Shavim Shara, person makes it to 70 years, Misa Shochiba, and then he dies, it's a death of love. You see, it says, You may still send him in Shavim Shara, Shavim Shara, our days of our life are 70 years, and he made it. The Shemani person dies at the age of 80, Misa Shochiba, no, it's a, it's a death of old age. Shemani says, We be gross when one is mighty, Shemani Shara, 80 years. Barzilai said to David when David was fleeing from Avshalom, Ben Shmonim Shana 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 Anochi, I'm already 80 years old. Haida Ben Tova Rad, we know the difference between bad and good. Now, this should be. Uh, <coughs> another place? Ovar. Not Afer, it should be Ovar. Ovar Chamishim Vosa Dover. Now, one has a theological question. Over Chamishim, 50 years pass. Vos Adar should be Chorus, and you get, and then you do it with your Chayim Chorus. Let's say Mechal Shabbos. So it should be Ochal. Ochal Vechade? Should you just eat and rejoice? In other words, <laughs> once you get past 50, how can we give you Chorus, right? So too. Ovar Shitin, Vos Adar Shuovar. Shabbat and Misa. If you pass the age of sixty, you did say which is supposed to get Misa day Shemayim. Should be Ocha v'Chade. Just eat and rejoice. So it says Mara Tana. Very interesting answer. Tana. Rabbi Yechanan of Etzion said, Omer, Zagat Shalos Lachayv. An old man who ate chaylev. Chivim Moti Yenu should be Kores. Who's going to tell me he gets Kores? Meaning he's already past the age of Kores. Oh, Shachil as a Shabbos. Old man is a Chal Shabbos. May be Kores, he dies with Kores, where's the Kores? Ella, rather, Kini, Kini. This is the way to learn it, according to Shalmi. Um, Hames Liomechon. A person gets ill and dies within 24 hours. That's Misa Shozan, that's a death in which Hashem is angry at it. Uh, Shnayim person gets death for 48 hours and then he dies. Misa Shabola, it is a confusing death. The Shlosha Meis Magefa, if he dies at the end of four days, he dies in a plague. Tiny Rav Shobar Chalafta, Ben Shoban Chalafta, Meis Berchot Bishnayim Bishlosha. If he dies on the first, the second, and the third of the days after he became sick, eh, these are all uh, may be kores. These are death by kores. In other words, what does kores mean after the age of fifty or sixty? It means you die quickly. The quicker you die, the worse off you are. Okay? Says the Gemara. Um, Lashisha, uh, I skip. Uh, uh, I, I lost my place. <laughs> <laughs> let me start. says, "Meis bechol b'shtayim b'shos." You die within one, two, or three days, or you're the onset of your illness. That's Mace B. Chorus. That's Chorus. It's called the lingo Chorus to Yome, not Chorus to Shani. You don't lose years, it's too late for that, but you do you lose days and the potential to do Chuba. Okay? Um, I lost again my place. Tara Khat, but Shol said, Mace B. Chorus, Time, Shlosha, Mace B. Chorus. Larva Khamisha, we dies at the four or five days of illness, we saw Duva, it's a quick death, but not Chorus. Lashisha, he dies after six days of illness. 
then midas there midas there cheres. It's a proper death. The shiva person dies after seven days shall chiba. It's a it's a death of precious death. You can't be a person sick for more than seven days before he dies. He's considered to be a mace be sword. So if you died out of agony, and therefore his agony is a fear of tones for his other sins. Okay? Macha, Mr. Maymar, what do you want to say? Mace be shlosha One second. Okay, this is a new thing. Macha, Mr. Maymar, what did you say to say? The Mesa Shloshi a person dies after three days, Mesa of the Gaypo that should be death by sword. Or by plague. Chilfe Bargirio, or Barbader of Yavo, Chilfe the grandson of Yavo, Omar, he said, Shamis. I'm just going to say, I'm not sure I might have missed the question. No. Chilvei bar 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 and he died. She died. Tola Kodesh Baruch Hu Shivas He may Evlos Shul Shmuel Kodesh Baruch Hu blinked the seven days of the morning for Shmuel of Shmuel. Do you know him, Mechitz? That's also called Mechitz. Those are David's rivals. The Ratsu Diktani. Those are husband of Abigail. We learned the Ratsu Achaluka. You're talking about the Chaluka. Again, tell Akurish Baruch Hu Shivas Me'evel Shel Shel Shmuel. Akurish Baruch Hu gave seven days here. In order to uh, for them to probably mourn Shmuel for his death, Shleisar uh, uh, Avelo, so that the morning of Shmuel should not get mix, 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 mixed in. The, uh, the Avelos over the Shmuel, the Russia, of the Tzadik should not get mixed up with the of this the Avelos of this Russia. Vaso Shloshis Yomim. So therefore, uh, he went on his uh, yeah. So therefore, seven days out of ten days for the. Covered of the death of Shmuel, and then for the next three days, Nova was sick, and then he died. So we see Shlosh Yomim, Vaso Shlosh Yomim by Magefa, who made so Magefa. So Nova, having died after three days, after the seven days of mourning, indicates the three days of death of Koris. Rabbi Chag, Rabbi Shem, Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachman says, Vaso Shlosh Yomim, Eng Siv Kam. It doesn't say for ten days. Uh, Gidon didn't do anything. Rather, it says Ela Chaos for a period like ten days. Tlakosh Baruch Hu Asara Yomim Kaseres Yomim Shepein Rashon El Yom Kippurim. Kosh Baruch Hu gave Novel ten days, like he gives all their Shoyim between Rashon and Yom Kippur. Shema Yasid Chuva Maybe Do Chuva Vlo So He Didn't Do Chuva. Okay. Period. Kano shal le rab it should be. Kano as rab. Zor shachal truma. What's the status of a zor and an kohen eats truma? Our malei bav omisla. You said you can put him to death. Mean the tzale. Once rab dav and our malei said, Ana ani. <laughs> Such an idiot. Half asleep. Three quarters asleep. In the Pasuk, it says in one part of the Pasuk, it says that you pay for the uh, Zorway Truma. 
No. Um, it says by what? It's one to begin by Yichol, one in the middle of Yichol. That's what it boils down to. So now you meant to say it's more. Doesn't matter, but it's Truma's equivalent. That's what we're saying. Okay. So. Uh, uh, Rabbi Chia, the shame Rabbi Ellen said, Zor Shachol Truma, is that where I'm up to? Oh, I didn't read the brackets. In other words, what was the agreement? We go by the agreement. What's the type of it? Kwan Shachol Truma a coin away Truma when he was Tome, he himself was Tome, the Miso he gets the, the Miso. Now, the, here he adds on the bottom from the Gra, Vein Zor Shocho Truma be Miso, a Zor who eats Truma does not get Miso. He doesn't get that. What's the difference? Says Gemara, Rabbi Chiyah Bishar Mbion said, Zor Shocho Truma, oh, for at least first time, he says, even a Zor he cheats Truma, Bible Miso gets put to death. Okay? Mastis and Messiah put in the hands of heaven. Mastis and Messiah, Rabbi Yechonon, the bright, the mission of Prophet Rabbi Yechonon, because what does it say? It says, Oichle Truma Bizodo, people eat Truma intentionally, or Tor, Shoach al Tome, a Tome person who ate Tome, or Shoach al Tor, or, um, the Tome Shoach al Tor, or a person who Tome ate Tor or stuff, Baba Misa. They all go put together. Okay, true of the Kohanim. Okay, true of the Kohanim. If a Kohen eats Truma, Tor Shach Al Tor Matar. If he's a Tor eating Tor Truma, so we can eat Tvaso. That's the proper way to do it. Tor Shach Al Tome. If a Tor eats a Tome, in other words, a, per- a Kohen who's Tor. It's Tame Truma, so he transgressed the mitzvah sase. Tame Shachal Tor, if a person's Tame eats the Tor stuff. The Tame Shachal Tame. Below Tase, it's a lot. It's a private activity. So Gemara asks, why if some is tar, a coin is tar, and he eats tame uh, bikurim, he gets an assay, and here he gets a laugh. So I'm a rabbi vavar memel vachari ocham in kodoshim. It says, then afterwards you should eat from the kodoshim, minatoyrim velominatomeim. For a tar wants and not from the tame wants. So this is talking about also a um No, the more is going to explain. All right, boy, mem of a khair khamil kurashim, mina torim velomina tme. You can eat kachim, but the tar wants and not the tummy wants. Ko low uh uh um but uh, the laugh you should eat kachim which comes to tell you don't eat anything else between the partners uh, and the not getting through tonight not getting through to me right now let's take a deep breath and do this over again so my focus and Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi Zira Azor Wei Truma what's his status 
Trumat's mayor. I'm calling away Trumat's mayor. They, they agree here is prohibited. But it's not a of Misa. A Kohen who's Tame who ate Truma Tahira, he's Chai of Misa. Okay? What about Israel who's Tahir who ate Truma Tahira? What's his status? Yes, that's the Machlokas. Let me see, let's do that in a second, right after the brackets. Let's take it from that. Okay? No, let's take it from before that. Let's take it from Khan or Shor Rabbi Zira. Let's see from there, there again. Let's go from much further up. Right at the beginning of the page. Khan or Shor Rabbi Zira. Zor Shor Truma, the Zor eats Truma. Armale Bav and Mai Miso. He said, you get the death penalty for it. Death penalty in the hands of heaven. I mean, that Sally, once Rav Davin, he changes, Rav Davin, he changes mind. Or Rabbi Zira changed his mind. He said, Amalei Ani Hashem Ifsiki Irinya. So it says in Pasuk Ani Hashem, between the death penalty given to Kohanim who eat Truma, which are to, when they're not supposed to, and a Zor who eats Truma, the Zor doesn't get the death penalty. Kohen Shachal B'tumas B'tuma, whoever the Kohen ate Truma when he was Tomei, so then he gets Misa. He gets the death penalty. Now, the Ein Zor, this it should say, although you don't have it, Ein Zor Shachal Truma the Misa. A Zor with Truma, no matter what, doesn't get put to death. Okay. Rabbi Chaim Shmuel Yochanan said, "No, Zor Shachal Truma. If a Zor eats Truma, an Anko eats Truma, but a Misa gets put to death. Then the hands of heaven, Truma gets put to death. Now the next word should be Bizorim by Zorim. This is the principle. This is the principle. Tor Shachal Tor. If a Tor eats Tor, right? Everybody's Tor. Or Tami Shachal Tome. A Tome eats Tome. Or." Tor shochal tome if a tor eats tome or tome shochal tor if a tome eats tor bavon misa kill them all that's Rabbi Yochanan holds kill them all ochle truma be kohanim let's do the same thing by kohanim tor shochal tor the mitzvah so that's the mitzvah tor shochal tome if a tor kohen eats tome truma basay transgresses and asay tome shochal tor if a tome kohen eats tor truma so then we say that uh or 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 a tummy shachotar if a tummy tor coin eats a uh, tummy coin eats tor if a tummy person eats tummy no tummy eats tor before was tor eats tummy yeah but now it's a new case tummy eats tor. And Tommy eats Tommy, right? Tommy, Tommy, Tor eats Tommy, or Tommy eats Tommy. Makes lives in substance. Tommy below us. I say you get a lab. No more than that. Macha meets me. What? What did you see to say that Tor shachal Tommy? If a Tor eats Tommy, but I say all he gets is an assay. I didn't know it. Am Rabbi Abba bar Mema vaechad vachar vachar yochah mina kachim. It says later on you can eat from the kachim. Minatayim, and there it says from Torah, no minatayim, and not from Tommy. Kol la say shuba mikoach I say any time the lab is a derivative that I say and I say eat means after you go to the mikvah and have our Reb Shemesh eat kachim, as opposed to uh, before you go to the mikvah, as opposed to before I have Shemesh. Don't eat kachim, since we learn out from as opposed and by inference from an assay, even though it's a love, don't do it as only the status of an assay. Um, Ravina, Ravina says a similar thing. Bimash, Mashinah, my sin says, call a shirloz, not be a casket, tochel, anything which got the skins and, 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 fins and scales, not, not skins and fails. Anything which got, uh, 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 <laughs> fins and scales. Tochlu, you should eat. Ain't no yadim, so don't we know? Chosher, ain't no stop beer, cast gases. Anything which doesn't have faith and scales, lo tochlu, don't eat. So why does have to tell us that as well? We do not say, lo saseo to me. Say if somebody eats an, uh, a non pinned fish, you transgress both in our saying, lo sase. And here to me means treif. So begin to receive, ha, that's only because it says this. Ilu lo I say, but if it had not said that I say, 
With that, so because it says that any fish which doesn't have stavikas says don't eat. Halok see uh what? Halilu lo have a ksiva say. Halilu lo have a ksiva and not said the laugh. As say the have it would have only been as say. And kolosa say even though we could have extrapolated losa say kolosa say shu mikoa ba mikoa chase ain losa which comes on the heels of an asay. I say you it's an say. Okay, that's one way of learning the the whole business about Tommy and Torah and how they fit in. Rabbi Asa Shamalim Mihach Rabbi Asa heard it from here. It says that Tommy Vato Yach Tov Yach Lenu a Tommy and Torah may both eat an animal which became possible from his back to the Mukdashim was redeemed. So can a Tommy Vato Yach Mikara Achas. Only here may a Tommy and Torah eat together by Psalim Mukdashim, Kachim rendered unfit and then redeemed. Which sounds like but Truma ain't a Tommy Vator only Mukarachas. By Truma they may not eat out of the same plate. It's a plate. So says the Gemara. Let's say like Kachim also by uh, by these cases, right? Let's say Kachim not give uh, not not give. Um, no, or in means really yes, but begin Kachik Fark Siv. Already says by Kachik Abosar Shalli Yiga Vachol Tamei meat which touches any impurity low the low the Achel So therefore, this pasuk must be coming to say oh, yes, but not Truma Mikorn Truma Mikorn. Oh, okay, okay, we'll stop here for tonight because uh, I don't know. We'll say, no, it's getting boring. <laughs>